Why did you attack all those people? God told me to. Somebody else want to take the lead on this one? <laughs> to me, this movie was all about Wienerwald. Yeah, that's the only note I have. Yeah, we had a lot of exposition going on, a lot of story. There was a, a, a lot of heavy themes going on and shit like that. And I think we were all trying to watch this and figure it out. And then suddenly there was a scene where somebody's on the street and behind them <laughs> is like a department store or something called Wienerwald. <laughs> and that's when we all sprung to life. We all got up and cheered, and we all wanted to know, like, what is Wienerwald about? Immediately, and... there were all like three of us commented, "There's a Wienerwald." <laughs> Did anybody actually to look do it up? Anything, but that's what we got out of the film. But no, anyways, I heard. Yeah, secondary to that, there was this narrative about this Catholic cop who's investigating these crimes. The first one being a guy up on like a water tower on top of a building shooting people and managing to kill like 15 or some ridiculously high number with a 22 rifle like i'm not even sure he'd be getting kill shots from that that distance at that height he was uh, with a 22 but anyways beside the point now you're so, bringing in science yeah yeah but uh these killings are all happening. People are just running amok and killing people. And every time they're asked, why'd you do it? They say, God told me to. And then they kill themselves or something like that. Or they spontaneously die. I think they killed themselves, didn't they? I don't know. It might have been spontaneous dying after saying, God told me to. And the Catholic cop is trying to figure all this out. And he's trying to figure out if these people had any common contact with anybody. And it turns out they were all uh, associated with some somebody named Bernard Phillips, I believe was the name. <laughs> and he seeks out this guy's mother. This was the scene I think most people didn't understand what was going on because it was so dark, too. You couldn't see it. And this wasn't mm -hmm. like it was a 1976 film, but it was a good print. It wasn't one of those where we were like struggling to see what was going on. It was just like, for whatever reason, the the director decided to film a scene in the fucking dark. And mm -hmm. uh, that was the scene where he went to find Bernard Phillips's mother and she ran out with a knife or something like that. Ends up dying, falling down the stairs, something. We can't see a fucking thing happening because the director was an idiot about this. And uh, he finds out also that it seems that this Bernard Phillips is the product of virgin birth. He sees a doctor and the doctor was talking about how you know, she was a virgin and this kid was delivered by cesarean section, didn't have a didn't have a gender. And, you know, it's, it's also very mysterious and it sounds very Christly. And uh, nonetheless, you know, it, it seems to be the basis for these horrific crimes. And for a while, this kind of plays out as a police procedural, which can be pretty boring but when you consider it's 1976 and most fucking movies were just boring as shit and <laughs> even when they were they had action they did everything they could to undermine it by playing like flute jazz or something like that this was a real fucking thriller for 1976 <laughs> i thought and it did hold my interest and it was really weird let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat 